Hello, today we are going to start a series on looking at the construction and installation of a suspended floor system for a residential house. This first overview is going to be divided into three sections. First is getting the position of the structure in the right place on the site. The second is getting the structure to the right height. And third is using the substructure to protect the rest of the house from termites and moisture. Luckily, the first two sections already have videos that deal with getting the subfloor in the right place and the right height. So before continuing, please review those two first. I'll leave the links to those series of videos in the description. Now we can talk about protecting the substructure and we will start with termites. Termite protection generally falls into two basic categories, physical and chemical. So we're going to look at chemical first. So what we have here is a basic start to a brick veneer house. So we've got a slab here, we've got a footing that goes around underneath. What used to happen is that before the slab was poured, someone would come around and just spray poison on the ground and then pour the slab over it and that would protect the house. But since then, all of the really powerful poisons have been outlawed because they're just too toxic. The poisons they use nowadays break down after a while. So we need to install that chemical barrier in such a way that it can be replenished. And we do that with a reticulation system. So here's a bit of ground line that goes up to the house. So just under the ground, we run a length of pipe through. And that pipe it's kind of like a soaker hose. It's got a series of holes all the way down it and it will come up out of the ground at a connection point and every year or so the termite company will come out and refill that poison and pump it into the ground line and it just basically makes the soil particularly unsatisfying to a termite. The idea being is they decide to go away somewhere else away from the house and depending on the job those pipes could even run under the house, maybe around the pipe penetrations, just wherever is needed. So let's talk about a physical barrier. So there are a few different companies that offer different physical barriers, but before we do, we're going to talk about this construction method. So first of all, what we have here is a fairly common method of starting off a brick veneer house. We start by digging and pouring the concrete footings. On top of that, we lay perhaps two or three courses of brickwork and then we pour the slab into the brickwork leaving a rebate there for our wall frame to sit on. We then come by and install the wall frame and then later on the bricklayer will come back and lay the rest of the brickwork. But we have a spot here where termites would love to get in. They are able to make their way up the brickwork, perhaps come in through some weep holes. If they find any weaknesses in the mortar joins or they manage to eat their way through, they can come up in between the brickwork and the slab. So we need a layer of termite protection that prevents any further entry. So before we put the brickwork up and before we put the wall frame up, this is our opportunity. So right in there, we are able to put a layer of something. Now this layer of termite protection could be any one of a number of products. It could be a poison impregnated plastic similar to a cordon system which would go underneath your wall frame. It could be a wire mesh system similar to termi mesh which would come across the brickwork and be glued or parged to the edge of the slab. You could even have a granite guard system which fills this void with a special gravel that the termites can't get through. But regardless of what system it is or what company it is, that would go in there providing a layer of termite protection. But the idea of this is it provides a spot where even if the termites get into this space, they can't get past it and onto the timber work. So once that layer of termite proofing has been installed, then our wall frames would go in and our brickwork would go in over the top and you'll notice the termite proofing just protrudes through the brickwork now in real life it wouldn't come that far i've just tried to make it a little bit clearer in the drawing 
But if you go to a brick veneer house and you look very closely, you should be able to just see a layer of termite protection just visible through the mortar join. And it's important that it is because when the termites come up through the mortar and they try to come up through the brickwork and get to the timber wall frame, it forces them to come out in the open and they have to actually build mud nests to get around that section because they don't like being out in the sunlight. And that's the one tactic that we have against them is to force them out in the open where they're easily seen. So that's a fairly standard version of termite protection in a brick veneer house. But what about penetrations coming through the slab? This is another spot where termites can come up through. Well, in this situation, you can actually put collars around the pipes to protect them from termites coming up through. And I'll leave a link in the description to a very good video that shows a demonstration of protecting around pipes coming through the slab. Let's have a look at a suspended floor system. So here we have a suspended floor system with lots of lovely yummy timber that the termites would love to get their teeth into. We've got a system here where we've got some steel posts and we've got some brickwork with some engaged piers. Let's pick on these steel posts. Now first of all those steel posts are a system of termite protection because they can't eat their way up through it. If they want to get past it they've got to build mud tunnels right on the outside where they're easily seen. So that's a good thing about steel posts. They don't look very attractive, but they're very effective when it comes to termite protection. If we have a look at this engaged pier, again, we've got some brickwork with mortar joins that are very good for hiding termite activity. So what's our best method here? Well, quite simply, it is an ant cap. And all this does is exactly what the layer of termite protection in the brick veneer house does when the termites come up the brickwork to try and get into the timber frame it forces them to come right out in the open where we can see the activity nice and clearly and that will alert us that something needs to be done so of course in this situation we have a single skin brickwork which means we would still need some kind of protection across that layer but if this were just a an individual brick pier or perhaps even a concrete pier there would be an ant cap to go on top of that. And the same here, if this were not a steel post, but a timber post or a timber pole, again, an ant cap on the top, which would force the termites to come all the way around and be easily seen. And that is a very brief overview of protecting a structure from termites. Thank you and good luck.